So they'll be calling you a radical. So we have a the Satan is back. She devil. She we have another sighting of the most evil human being, one of them that ever walked the face of the earth, Gina McCarthy. And the fucking America ads, you need to learn to speak America. You need to learn to spell czar. It's spelled with a fucking T, Zar T. Gina McCarthy bobbling out of fucking in. When, when are you fuckers going to wake up in this country? I mean, the, I guess the American poppy still doesn't even understand that there's full blown out fucking meltdowns going on at Fukushima, Japan, pushing into the Pacific Ocean. You know, we're going to cancel the games and the Olympics. COVID, 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 COVID. When everybody in Japan knows it's Fukushima, Fukushima, Fukushima. Where do you think COVID came from? Stay with me. So the dichotomy and going in the power structure, the pyramid scheme, Epstein Island, Bill Gates. Hey, yeah, don't you love all the panty painted media on fucking Bill Gates who propped him up for years? The New York teams propped him up for years. The guy fucking, he's fucking a, come on, what do you think he's doing hanging around with Epstein? The same thing all of these fucking imperialist creeps are doing. They just prop this creep up and create these billionaires, these gazillionaires, these gods. What the fuck? So, when Fukushima happened, do you even, can you Google Radnet? R-A-D-N-E-T. Radnet. So, post 9-11, the gift that keeps on giving to the military and death was war pigs from hell, we bolstered Radnet. What's that radiation detecting network that's all over the United States? There are dishes everywhere for a weapon for a nuclear you know it's placed basically china's gonna nuke us north korea's gonna nuke us russia's gonna nuke us when we just nuke ourselves 350 open air tests in nevada pop 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 fucking santa Susana in los angeles people people are willing to die for dogma i mean they're who would have known they were this hypnotized so who's head of radnet Gina McCarthy. What do they do with Radnet? Immediately, Kevin Blanche leaks out all over the internet. They're lying, they're lying, lying. Look at this. Within eight hours, Radnet dishes in NoCal were picking up freaking massive, crazy Radnet ra radiation readings. Full blown out plutonium, you name it. Cesium, I didn't, it's going psycho. So she crashed it. She was such a good puppet soldier that she, Obama made her head of the EPA. Now, sliding with Biden makes her climate czar when Fukushima is boiled the planet. Hell of a way to boil a planet. So she's out now. This is important because Jennifer Graham home, DOE, Berkeley fucking the head of the snake again. I went to Berkeley for a while. Fuck. What they've evolved. You know, that started out as the agricultural college. Who stole it? Rosemary's baby, Rockefeller's baby, Russell, the Russell Trust, fucking took it over, the pyramid. So they're both saying we need more nukes, more nuclear energy, we need to bail out these nuclear freaking reactors, bail them out, bail them out. When Biden, when he gets elected, forms a panel, a council of independence all over. Not so-called academia, because we know what academia is. You go to academia, we, it's a fucking, if Fukushima hasn't proved, and I'm an ex-professor, hasn't proved to you what a total fucking fraud academia is by now. <laughs> I mean, it's a fucking joke. It truly is a joke. It's fucking pathetic is what it is. I mean, it's criminal. So, these are people from all over different disciplines, different lives, different paths for climate injustice. So they release Friday. I read the whole thing. They mentioned Fukushima in it three times. Inside their recommendation, which this was put together by the Biden administration, we recommend zero nuclear. Nuclear is a disaster, including SMRs, none, zero. You're talking so much nuclear pork I would have never, this equation, when I first says, these are full blown up meltdowns, this is the greatest ecological catastrophe in human history. It's going to genocide this fucking planet. <coughs> Excuse me. 
It's going to wipe out the fucking ocean. It's going to fucking create a heat source so hot that it's going to put a bubble over the western United States. It's going to make the Great Salt Lake go dry. It's going to create fucking fires all over the western United States. It's going to fucking burn. It's going to fucking wipe out the tide pools. It's going to, you know, the salmon will be your smoking every bit of playback the tape. The part that, I, you know, which there was no doubt in my mind this was going to happen. They're just going to cover it up. They're going to cover it up because I knew what they did to Hiroshima and Nagasaki. To this day, 75, 76 years later, we still haven't seen the footage. You're just like, oh, I'm going to show you the Warren Commission. I'm going to show you the real fucking report on fucking JFK blown away. Trumpster, Trumpster. Well, remember, Obama, Obama, 50 years, we'll get to see it. Yay, we'll get to see it. 2013. Did we? Fuck no. Trump? Oh, yeah, when he ran. I'm going to show it to you. I'm going to show you. Fucking open the door. And I, well, after seeing it. Uh, uh, fuck. Oh, my God. It's so pathetic. So th they say no nuclear, no nuclear, no. These little SMRs, which the Ohio bust. They bu this is how degenerate the country is. They get busted bribing politicians. Ohio still wants to give them the fucking they bail them out in New York, $7.6 billion Cuomo. And you guys are all worried about, Cuomo put his arm around a girl once. He put his arm around a girl back in 1973. Okay, okay, all right, okay, he's a creep. Well, we know he's a fucking creep. That's who fucking runs for office. All fucking politicians are fucking creep. Kurt Vonnegut, fucking Slaughterhouse, fucking five, six, and seven, fucking. You ever wake up one morning, remember those fucking overcompensation, creepy fucking... Freaks that rent for student body office in high school. Did you ever wake up and realize they're running the country? I mean, hello. So status King Cuomo, $7.6 billion to his friends here. Yeah, that's right. The city that never sleep. Oh, they're asleep. Holtec got signed the contract yesterday to decommission. This is important because the part I would never remember. This blows my mind, actually, how hypnotized and freak show Americana has turned into. You know, I started watching it here in Utah and San Diego for years. Slowly evolved, especially post 9-11. All these baby boomers starting to try to live their youth. They didn't live their youth. And so they were trying to recap, which doesn't work. So they'll buy all this fancy gear and show up and, you know, and tell everybody. And they got like, you know, they're 18, 19. You know, they got a van. They got a cool car. And, you know... Sweat, wet suit, whatever, you should see them. And they're going surfing. I watch it. Anybody that's surfing right now is out of their fucking mind, especially in SoCal, San Diego. It's full of E. coli. It will kill you. <laughs> I mean, Fukushima, fucking, it's a death trap. And then you watch them. They can't fucking surf. Skiers coming here. I see it all the time. They got all their fucking gear on. We're skiing in Utah. I fly on the plane with it. Oh, we're going skiing. How long have you been skiing? You going to go here to Basin? They sit in the fucking lodge, you know. Yay, take fucking selfies. One thing, fishermen. Oh, we're going to fucking the Rogue River fishing. We're going to fucking yeah, Zane Gray on fuck about how romantic. Went fishing, never caught a fish in five years. Family fucking trip. <laughs> we're gonna go. My my favorite's this one. I'm California all the time. We're going tide pulling today. Tide pulling. Where where are you going? We're going out to Point Loma. $35 for that. I mean, fuck, what a joke. I said, well, you're going to be very disappointed. What, what, what do you mean? Tide pools are wiped out. There's no starfish. So you'll go out there and just lines of cars. $35, $35 a head. $35, $35, just fucking lines. And then you'll talk to people. You know, I'll pull up in the parking lot, you know, and they'll say, well, what'd you find? Oh, we found lots of stuff. Well, okay, what'd you find? Did you see any starfish? Uh, uh, no. See any... California cucumbers? Uh, uh, no, what's that? You see any banana slugs? Uh, 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 what's that? How about the upper California purple origin? See any of this? Uh, well, no. Uh, no. Do you see any sea anemones? Uh, 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 no, but we found a brittle star. That's a starfish, right? Brittle star is... <laughs> Do you know what a brittle star is? A brittle star is an insect. You know, they're a spider. A little spider. What do you find? And they'll just be thousands. I think about this all the time over the last decade. How many, and you'll watch, they bus loads of kids fucking going on vacation from all over the world. And you'll see the kids and they're looking at grandpa and grandma. They're looking at fucking, and they're like, what? What? You know? So, it's a fucking real. 
how abstract just it's like a basketball game they'll go to a basketball game and they'll have no clue about the sport whatsoever but just to be yeah i went to nba game i'm an elite oh shut the fuck up it's so grotesque what they've turned it's imperialism the country's gone they're hitting it. orwell could not dream this up so this is important now listen to me I have got to raise the fucking money to do this work. This work has to be done. And I'm taking my grandsons with me. They're old enough. It's time. I've got to pass on this fucking knowledge to them. They've got to learn how to do this. Fucking, we're going to get the lowest tide in years, in years on fucking Tuesday. Fuck, all week. I have got to be in the best tide pools in California at the lowest fucking... Look, you could scuba dive all you want. I ain't going to tell you shit. Diving, the upper fucking California... Tide pools will tell you everything at low tide. And you've got to have somebody who could do it. I watched, but they had no fucking clue. You don't put on rubber boots and get a bucket and go wade through the pools. You fucking glide across those fucking rocks like a fucking gazelle. Like a fucking shorebird. Like a seagull. It's fucking difficult. You have to have the right shoes. You have to have the right lighting. You have to be at the right place. And it happens like that. I mean, boom, 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 boom. You have to be Johnny on the spot. I mean, it is difficult. It is an art. Un, I mean, unbelievable art. It's dangerous. Those rocks are slick. I mean, really dangerous. Plus, you've got a camera in your fucking hand. I am the fucking guy. I mean, if I used hundreds and hundreds of it, just think if I didn't shoot all those videos. I remember being in Monterey at the Maverick. Ooh, we're skiing. For, uh, for, I said, you know why there's no fakes fucking skiing fucking here at Monterey on the Pacific Grove side? You know, there's no these fake fuckers there. I told my grandson, do you know why you don't see? The only surfers you see there, oh, they fucking know how to surf in those rocks. And I says, I'll tell you what, because the fake ones that get out there, they're right, just go up the hill, three blocks, take a left and go two blocks over. You'll find them. What's that? That's the cemetery. <laughs> it will kill you. The fakes, oh, they're tourmaline floating along. Oh, yay. Look, oh, fuck. It make you fucking, I can't believe what this country, it's a cliche. Monterey Bay is a cliche. California is a fucking thing. Oh, we're going to fucking sell our house in California. Come to you. Oh, fuck you. It's so disturbing. So disgusting how these fucking fanny go. I did this map years ago. I did this piece of art and I just, what an insult to an ant. Ants are strong. But I used a little bit of sugar, and I took a map out, and I started, you know, the Western Migration fucking Manifest Destiny on chemo. And I put a dot here in Omaha. Oh, here come the ants. Put a dot in fuck Los Angeles. Oh, here come the ants. Now I need to put a dot in Utah. Here they come the ants. Oh. I hear it all the time. Well, I'm going to sell my house in Idaho. I'm going to sell my house here, and I'm going to go somewhere where it's cheap. Well, could you tell me where that's? And ran green. So it's a freak show out there. Fucking never in the history of mankind have you had 333 million fainting goats that are all in lock, stock, barrel, chasing fucking fairy tale money. Be the next cryptocurrency fucking billionaire. I'm going to be the next fucking American idol. I'm going to be the next American voice. I'm going to be the next CEO. I'm going to go to university. University's a joke right now. Oh, it's pathetic. You know, pay to play. It's a joke. I mean, I understand if you're going to be a lawyer, you got to go through that. Thing, or you're going to be a doctor, but the, really, you've got to be self and crowdfunded. I mean, all PhDs, you know how many unemployed PhDs there are right now in this country? Fuck, where are you going to go unless you're tenured into the fucking club? Unless you're just fucking, they're not fucking PhD, traditional PhDs. You hypothesize knowledge, they're lying. These are full blown out nuclear fucking meltdowns. Fuck, they're lying. Then you do the field work. Ten fucking years of field work? I have to raise the money. It has to be fucking done. And a thousand dollars. At least I've got to have plane flights. I've got my plane flight spot. I've got to have fucking hotel rooms. I can't sleep on the beach with the grandkids. I mean, you know how they fuck. They're going to make up for last time. Anywhere on the California coastal community, which they fucked it. You know, it's it's pathetic. I mean, it's disgusting. You know, come on, kiddies. I bet these, I mean, they're science kids. Both of them are. You know, they're athletes, but they're science kids. You know, they're telling... <laughs> They're into chemistry. They're into bio. I wonder why, growing up with their grandpa. I mean, these are the young men that are going to change the fucking world. They're going to have to clean up and save your asses. Well, they're going to have to save their own generation. We are, we are. You know, planet's toxic. 
Longevity headed south starting in 2012. Obey, consume, obey, consume, die young of cancer, and fucking listen to Trump. Open the door. I mean, think about the fuck what they did to the resistance. Black Lives Matter, three women sitting around going T -t 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 on a keyboard, and they're going to be the resistance. <laughs> just steal it. Just blatantly steal it. They stole it. Think about the work that the Million Mass March done. Think about Post Ignorance Project, Occupy, in the fucking trenches, in the street, all those fucking years. And they just steal it from them. And we're all broken dead, you know, the true grassroots activists, you know, Billionaire basketball players, I'm Donovan Mitchell, look at my bulletproof vest when the fuck can't kill fucking innocent people fucking cop cap from the world is Utah. Shit that's on the news right now, oh, there was a shootout on I-15, blah, blah, nine million cops, he that stuff 20 years ago wouldn't even been on fucking the news. I mean, it's a nothing burger, but it's sensationalism, fear fucking mongering. Plan oh, some homeless fucking guy beats up a fucking, you know, he's mentally ill for God's sakes sensationalism to the 10th power and they just slurp it up. Meanwhile, back on the fucking ranch, the fucking, you think that's a story? The Pacific Ocean life has collapsed well over 90%, 95, 99 is something. Typhoon's wiped out. This has to be documented to see if there's anything coming back. Say starfish live to be 35 years old. You know, I found the footage of those giant lobsters I found. I showed them to my grandson yesterday. I found I had them on a different site, you know, way out there at PB Point. The Monterey Aquarium says the footage I shot there at, in 2019, no, that's 2018 or 17 on Stank Bank there at Tourmaline. Let's go surfing there in the summer when the E. coli from the Tijuana River rages right there. Ooh. Not me. So he says that's the most California hares ever recorded, we, we've ever seen or we've ever heard of or we've ever known. Kevin Lynch's footage. You know, the only footage we got Right there at Lover's Point is some healthy starfish, a few of them. He says, that's the only one. I can't believe you guys find that out timing, you know. It, this works. As, I'm not the regurgitation of the regurgitate, the analysis of the analysis. People are so used to listening to a YouTube vlog or whatever. They want to see links and then they want to see the research. I am the fucking link. Don't you realize? I have nothing to do with that. That people sit around and fucking, you know, I'm going to track earthquakes. I'm going to track earthquakes. I'm going to track People are fucking hypnotized. They're gone. I mean, but, you know, the history has to be recorded. The work has to be fucking done. Just think, I, I want you to really run this through your mind over the last decade. If I wouldn't have done this on location, fucking done this work, here's what would have happened. Oh, yeah, the starfish are fucking kind of wiped out, but that they just gradually happened. Now you can say, the fuck it did. Look at this. Here's Kevin wasn't gradual. This is just going whoosh, acute wipeout. They were healthy in 2010. Really healthy. There's thousands of videos out there. People don't even know what a starfish is. When they hold up a brittle, took the kids and the family, and oh, look, and make this pretty video. Look how nice. Found a fucking pound, one California fucking sea hare. Ooh, ooh, we found one fucking sickly sea anemone. Ooh, 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 here's one little sickly starfish. Ooh, ooh, when the fuck. You know what they're supposed to look like? Let me show you what they're supposed to look like. So you know. I get by with a little. So I've got to raise the fucking money. The worst got to be done, you know. That's what it used to look like, you know, as far as the fish and the birds. That's 2010. That Those photos are 2010. Of course, it's 2014 Diablo Canyon's evacuation calendar. A girl, when I did a protest there, came and brought me that. That's the column at Pismo in 2010. That's what they're supposed to look like. Do you think any of the columns look like that? I found a few at PB fucking on the Crystal Pier, way, way, way out. Very few, but that's what they're supposed to be look like all the way up. You know, Point Loma should just, fuck, you don't even have to be asked for from up above. You just drive up and just look out. Whoa, whoa, it's a Frank Stella painting. Just purple, fucking red, fucking. The orange will jump out at you. You don't have to be an expert. I mean, kitties get you. As soon as you pull up and you look, you can see it's a death zone. But in detail, to document this properly as a real PhD, it has to be done. And now this has to be, it's going to be the super, super, super low tide on that blood moon. I mean, I know, I've been at this for so long, I know.
how this works. And I know this tide's going to be low as low as low. I know when they say 0.17, you could, this is, this is going to be historic low tides. I have got, it's going to be early, early in the a.m. I mean, the crack of dawn is when we'll be able to get out because you can't fucking document tide pools in the dark. And by the way, I found the, you know, the one octopus and a guy fucking poaching it right there in front of everybody. You know, the video's online, but they don't care. That's fucking so illegal. You can't take anything out of those typos. You can't touch anything. You can't take anything out, which I don't. That's why you go across the top very delicately. Fucking, I mean, it's an art. You don't go wet, tromping through the fuckers like Doc Ricketts and fucking be a po I mean, I love Doc Ricketts, but come on. You know, he was a poacher. He put stuff in the fucking bottles and sent them out to fucking schools and fucking got rich. And then he got hit by the train. And you, come on. Why was Steinbeck and fucking Ricketts there? What was the fucking canneries there? I mean, fuck, it was young prostitutes. Fucking go talk to anybody. I mean, hello, hello, let's talk the reality of all this. Fuck, the panty painters fucking just... No, don't raise your voice. So Gina McCarthy's back. Oh, fuck. This is one of the greatest criminals in human history. I mean, we're still going to deny the fucking... Fact that Fukushima is ongoing and that she covered up. We meet no Mukir. Still, she's back. This is like a fucking cockroach that won't go away. She's out running her fucking mouth again. She's, I mean, it's like Kissinger's 97, 98, just fucking still running the pyramid. Fucking these fuckers won't fucking go away. You know, didn't Roth, one of the uh, Rockefellers died in 101, whatever. I, I see Lord Rothschild's son drop fucking dead from a heart attack. Fucking. I mean, my God, we're still going to go along with this fairy tale narrative and fucking every single politician is just going to get up and watch Operation Foxconn News run right out of the house of fucking Windsor and just regurgitate it and MSNBC to the left and we're just going to fucking go these fucking softball issues and fucking what, and everybody's going to hold court, including fucking her, Maxine, in fucking Hawaii. Born and raised in Fukushima, Japan. Stage four cancer survivor. Everybody's going to go along, including Mike Lee. Fucking including Wyden who went to Fukushima multiple times. Worse than I thought. You're just going to stand down to these guys. Well, classified. Who says? You know, they tell me that all the time. You know, kettle me. Run for me. You know, this has got to be a tiny fucking strong army. I cannot believe after all those years I did not ever get a philanthropist to fund this fucking work. You know, how I've limped along and done this is fucking staggering. Into, while fighting for my life, full of AML looking, with a failed org valve, fucking with, I mean, you think about the type of work. I'm jumping through type with a failed org valve, with patent accounts of fucking in the 30s, full of AML de nouveau leukemia. I mean, it's fucking, I think about it. I'm one tough fucking guy. I'm fucking strong. And I think about it. Mentally, physically, I it's unbelievable. Sleeping in a sleeping bag fucking in my health condition. Whoa. But I did it and it's out there. It needs to, this work has to be done. Period. Period. You know, somebody needs to step up and fucking fight. I, I got around a, a, a whole thousand dollars. Somebody out there. I mean, the people, the fucking money that gets thrown around, you know, a new car costs 50,000 fucking dollars. My God. I mean, fucking what a house fucking <laughs> half a million fucking dollars, you know, Fucking, let's go to, Di here in Utah, they think California is basically Disneyland. <laughs> oh my God, it's a fucking freak show we live in, but we have to ignore all that. We have to ignore all of the fucking 99.9999999 fucking earth-sucking, fainty fucking goats, hypnotized fucking fools, contemporized fucking sheep, because that's all they are. This hasn't proved, Fukushima hasn't proved, they just go along with the nerd. There has to be a small, teeny fucking army of resistance out there that has to be willing to do the work. You can call yourself resistance and blah, 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 go break into the fucking cap. Oh, fuck, it's pathetic. You know, this is, this, Kevin Blanche, Freedom Eyes on the 200th anniversary of water. Kevin Blanche, you realize you are the tip of the spear. Yeah, don't you drop it. I'm going to drop it. The fight goes on. Gene McCarthy, <laughs> <laughs> the climate's oh, they don't even have to spell it. It's not spelled with a C, it's spelled with a T, RT. What about lesson? <laughs> Trotsky to the fucking head. I mean, what about David Goldberg? Oh, fucking Sheryl Sandberg. <laughs> Zuckerberg, fucking Musk, fucking Gates. Ba they're the same fucking clan. The exact same people that cannibalized fucking Europe and caused World War One, World War. Oh, yay, Prince Harry's moved to California. He's fucking heir to the Russians. Oh, my God. Oh, my fucking God. 
It's European history fucking playing out on nuclear. I mean, you know what they did to the environment in Europe. They did, I mean, cut down all the fucking trees. Poison the Mediterranean. The rivers are all fucking completely poisoned. Fuck, why would they stop at the Pacific? I mean, it's unbelievable. And you're still going, we need more nuclear genome crisis. Okay. Up is down, black is white. Wrong. Ah, it's fucking sick. And the people will just regurgitate. Clean, grain, too cheap. Ah, fuck. Oh, but somehow you have to overcome all that and get up above that which I do, it's hard, and you know, the grandkids need to be taught, because they can't go through a academia process, I, George Washington was the first president, he could not cut down a fucking tree, he could not lie, Grant Wood on Balco, Betsy Ross sold the flag, Aber double day, invented fucking baseball, fucking, I mean, all this American, pledge allegiance to the, uh, pledge allegiance, I mean, this propaganda fake narrative fucking, uh, manifest destiny on chemo, fucking, the truth has to be told. You I mean, you can imagine if you had YouTube cameras in, fuck, when they're coming across murdering all the natives? I mean, we have the technology, we have the ability. Really, how many views does, it really doesn't matter. I mean, contemporary, I remember when I had so many fucking views. What happened? <laughs> just warding off trolls and fucking ignorant fucking, I mean, there's plenty of fucking lunatics out there that just will fucking, uh, God, he fucking become fucking exhausting. You know, sucked all the life out of my fucking, I mean, how much work to police the fucking site. You know, so maybe just the views being knocked down has actually been a blessing. You know, it's because our small, teeny, clean army. I've got to raise a thousand fucking dollars, period, quickly. Got to get some rooms. You know, it's that simple. I got the plane flights. Got to eat. Got to feed the kids. Fucking got to have a fucking decent place for them to stay. And, you know, we got to be there for five fucking six days. Fucking start looking around what fucking rooms are in coastal California anywhere. Fuck. These fuckers, I mean, they just, tourism economy, fuck, it's back. Well, we'll see. So, this has to be done. Gene McCarthy. Goodbye. Oh, my God. <laughs> come see the dead typos, kitty. Well, it needs to be documented and see if there's anything starting to come back. Because the nuclear mob, oh, it rules, don't it? Okay, this is what academia's turned into. I painted that in 94. <laughs> We're all living Obama, Japan now. That creepy fucker makes me want to fucking puke. Fucking find like Trump. God, what a pair of criminals. Fuck. <laughs> How about those guys on the Reagan? How about my dad nuked to death? Robin Hood? How about Paul? That's his obituary. Fucking look at all those dates. I see you right there. Fuck. Wow. Stan Tuned. We're all living Obama Japan now. Ask Gina McCarthy.